I tried remote high ticket sales for the last 70 days and this is what happened. My name is Wahaj and for the last three years, I've built multiple seven and eight figure high ticket sales teams. I've spoken on stage about building sales teams. I probably now train thousands of reps on how to close deals. But lately what I've been noticing in the high ticket space is that a lot of companies are shutting down because of the high competition, expensive ad cost, the high fear in the market and the bad economy. So I decided to jump back on the phones after three years of managing to see exactly what it takes to actually print money as a high ticket sales rep in 2024. But to make things a little bit more interesting, I actually decided to sell for two different offers. One of them was a lot more established, had a lot of authority in the space, was selling for the last five years, a lot of testimonies, a lot of case studies. But the other one was an offer that was struggling that wasn't able to break it out into the marketplace. It had testimonies, it had good reviews, but they just weren't able to sell. So in this this video, I'm going to share exactly what my numbers were, how much money I made on each offer, the biggest challenges I faced, and the lessons that I learned that can help you close more deals in 2024. So I needed to get two jobs, but luckily I run and manage my own sales teams. And so I just decided to hop on the calls and start taking calls for a bit. So let's start with the first offer. Okay. The first offer, the one that had more authority, a lot more history, a ton more testimonies. It was an AI marketing agency offer. B2C. So teaching people who want to start a business how to run an AI marketing agency, AI lead gen agency. Now this offer has been around for the last five years. And if you know high ticket, if you know the space, you know that offers have a certain shelf life. Everyone's heard about starting a marketing agency, agency. Everyone's heard about go high level. And so when you're in an older offer that's not so hot anymore, you have to add certain twists to it and certain elements to it that make it attractive. One of those things was obviously AI. The other part is the type of fulfillment, the type of offer it was. The fulfillment team was great. Now, the challenge is obviously the market different, the ad costs are higher. And so when you're running a VSL cold funnel, you have to make sure you're converting these leads. Otherwise, you're just burning money. In 2024, the numbers have to be much higher. Now, when you're selling direct to consumer on a cold funnel, you know that you have a very small window of closing them because if they don't close, they're going to get distracted. They're going to go somewhere else. They're going to buy something else. That's one part. The other part is product prices were 10K, 15K, 25K, so super high ticket. And when you have a short window, you have a high price, there's a lot of resistance. So the sales process has to be super tight. But with the ad cost coming, going higher and higher and fulfillment getting more expensive and more expensive, there was uh, an interesting shift that the business owner made. And what they started doing was they started doing live events. And what would happen is so many people would attend these events because there's so much authority in the space and the owner is spending two hours three hours teaching them doing the entire sales presentation breaking everything down going over the fulfillment spending so much time with them you know with all this natural presence and building relationships and then at the end of it he would do a big pitch price drop applications and then the sales team would pick up all those leads now i started jumping on these calls and it was just so easy it's like some of the easiest sales easiest money i've ever made two months of working there as a rep i collected one hundred twenty three thousand dollars in cash i spent around 14 hours on calls so very very little time i made eight percent of that cash collected so just under 10k now being able to do that was very insightful because you can always work hard you can always do this one thing but if you just have a vehicle that allows you to print money and you're in the right place then those opportunities will ultimately play pay you the most so that's one insight the other insight when they hopped on a trend for like ai and they made these marketing twists it was super helpful for the rep and so when you as a rep looking out for offers you want to make sure that you're on the hottest offer it's an old offer you want to see okay what type of twists are they adding if you just get on any new offer uh, you'll start printing money and then the third part is when you have opportunity to get warmed up leads to your door to your calendar the warmer there the easier they are to sell and so those sales can be layup sales but then you just focus on the craft you as a sales rep get to focus on the experience collect as much cash as possible and just building really good strong relationship and having fun doing so yeah that was just super easy and those are all the insights that i gained if you're able to find an offer that has a different method of selling that's not the traditional book a call funnel then you can make money very very easily by the way if you like this video so far just
just make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe because I'm going to be putting out more content about remote sales and I want to make sure that you see it. So let's talk about the harder offer. This offer had actually shut down a year ago because their high ticket sales team wasn't good enough and they started losing money. They hired me to rebuild their high ticket sales team. When I was rebuilding it, I was like, you know what? Let me just see exactly what this needs because there was nothing built. And so in order for me to build the right sales team, I had to set up all the sales systems and so all the SOPs, scripts, trainings, and I had to build that from scratch. And so I had to take sales calls. Now the offer owner was also a great affiliate marketer. He's won like tons of awards, being the best uh, affiliate marketer at a, a lot of different companies and he just had a very dialed in system so for the first two weeks i was just taking calls pure cold direct on my calendar no filtering and my close rate was around eight percent i gave marketing feedback i'm like hey the sales that i did make they were great and they're actually good fits and so let's add these filtering so that the people that are my, on my calendar are actually qualified leads and so once we made that shift it was like night and day difference my calendar went from 12 bookings a day to maybe two to four maybe five bookings bookings but all qualified all responsive show up rate had jumped up i started closing anywhere from 20 to 40 percent on any given week now the deals that i was closing day one cash collected was like 7.7k total cash per booking was very high as well where we were making really good profit so what i noticed was my close rate was 30 percent and i knew for a fact that I could have closed more. And if I did close those other leads, I would probably be at a 60% close rate because there was a lot of leads that still wanted to think about it. They still needed some time. They needed to come up with the funds. And then as most leads do, they never come back. Uh, no matter what you think, no matter how you feel, no matter how good the conversation was, they don't come back because the fear gets to them. Their life gets busy. I realized that to be stone closed in your closing ability so that you can close close that first call when they show up for that first call. What I noticed was I wasn't showing up with the right energy, with this mentality where I did not care about anything, especially my commission. That's when I actually closed them because my pure focus was just on them. My pure like thought process was driven by the curiosity of why does this person want to potentially spend anywhere from six to 15 grand and do something online? line where they've never done it before why does this person want to trust this coach to then teach them why is this person willing to risk their time their money to do this thing when my focus started shifting on that and when my energy was just purely based on what they told me and i only pitched people that told me that they wanted really wanted to do this and my focus was there my energy was there i was taking care of myself that's when i hit like those 35 percent 40 percent close rates collecting the 15k pips collecting the 9k piffs and that's when i was dialed in and everyone that i was speaking to it was, it was just like close 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 whenever i got busy whenever you know i slept late whenever something happened in my life that affected how i would show up on those calls my close rate would dip and that's when i realized like you have to just be on top of your game at all times you have to be an a plus closer uh, because there's going to be easy offers there's going to be you know you can sell 2k offers all day long you can sell sell the uh, live event offers all day long and get these super warmed up leads given to you if you're doing remote high ticket sales on a cold offer you know vsl direct to funnel and you have calls coming on your calendar majority of the time you have one shot to get it done if you have one shot and you're not prepared you're gonna lose money you're not gonna be able to impact that person it's gonna be a total loss and a, a total failure and the company won't work out all right so let's talk about the numbers after we refined it and we had a good filtering process and qualified leads were kind of landing on my calendar i started closing at a 32 percent on show ups eight calls closed uh, 66k cash collected there's more coming in and reoccurring around 20k more cash per booking 1.2k so every call that i get i'm essentially bringing 1.2k back into the company average sales size 7.7k cash collected on day one 49 calls 25 calls taken 51 percent show rate 32 percent close rate and this was just the month and the reason why these numbers are like the volume number is low for calls taken is because i'm still running teams i'm still managing and i'm still testing out this offer and making sure it's getting refined and whatnot so some calls some days like i had no calls because i couldn't take any calls but the numbers barely took any calls 25 calls taken 14 hours total duration and i closed 32 or 
my commissions on this is 6.6k cash 10% commission again there's more deals coming more cash coming in from these deals so once they come in it'll be around like 8.6k in commissions for 14 hours of work although these numbers are really good on a cold funnel offer as a high ticket highly profitable i could be at like a 50 percent close rate and the reason i'm i wasn't is because i was doing so many different things at this time managing teams i have a wife i have a kid my energy fluctuates and what i notice is whenever that happened it affected my game because then my focus is not purely on exactly what they want you have to be like sharp as the knife you can't let yourself go at any point you have to stay at the top of your game at all times that's when you can bring these people up to your level and then into the coaching that they need high ticket space is still strong you have to either get into a really good offer that has really good network and find your way into those easy roles that are kind of hidden behind a couple of doors and gates and you'll only do that through networking and researching and knowing how the industry works obviously because if you don't even know that exists you'll never find it hopefully this video helps uh, and then for the reps that are on vsl book of call funnels and you have consistent calls coming on your counter and you're selling high ticket more than 5k one call close is very very important and so whenever you're off your game you can drop the ball you're dropping the ball on their outcome and on your outcome the high ticket remote space you have to actually be very skilled for closing high ticket deals because if you can't even fathom someone spending 15k on a call with you after speaking to 50 minutes 60 minutes uh, and your belief level isn't there in the product your understanding of the product isn't there understanding of a person and their psychology their desires their goals isn't there then you will never close these high ticket deals.